Okay, I decided to do one of these small pieces first. This one I'm sure will break up into a few smaller chunks. You can see there's a bit of a crack running through there. It's kind of like a lamination on the top there. Kind of cortical exterior here. And on this side you can see there's a a crack running through it here. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But it's definitely there. Cortex, cortex, freeze cracked. Let's see how it goes. And I'm gonna use my new, my new hammer here. Okay, that did pretty much what I wanted it to, except the flake broke up into a few pieces. Nice overshot to get that started. Pretty nice hammer. Definitely some cracks in there. Let's see if we can get another big flake right beside that. It was just a Isolate that platform a little bit more. Not bad. It's getting really grainy in there though. I don't know if you can see that sparkle, but there's some quartz in this grainy bit. That's pretty much the limestone. Hasn't been solidified well enough yet. Another overshot. Maybe I can just hit that as is. I'm going to need to flip it over and get rid of this 
surface next. But I think first I want to try and get another one off here. Try and make it thinner, more blade-like. It's a little, little sharp on the back finger there. Need good support for these heavy strikes. All right. Not bad. Pretty messy at the end there. The cracks pretty much run all the way through this piece. So who knows what I'll finish up with at the end. But I'll flip it over and keep working. Just blending that in. I think I'll start turning the edge over here in this crusty bit that I'm not going to be keeping anyways. that was going to happen. That's a big freeze crack running all the way through. You can see how the surface is kind of grayer. This is the nice fresh chert. There was a big crack in there. The water seeped in and ate away at the stone. It's basically patinated on the inside. Oh yeah, that's all sorts of messed up in there. That's not really even worth continuing on. I doubt I'll get anything useful out of that. Good example of what Onondaga chert looks like when you just pick it up off the beach. Canadian winters are pretty harsh on stone.